What up, big time gang? Welcome back to another video. This one here is a, a watch that was sent to me by uh, uh, Mr. Gomez, my homie JJ's buddy. Um, is starting to collect uh, Invictus, and he doesn't even want this one size, which I thought was odd. But I guess he's not gonna wear it, so I get it. If you're not gonna wear it, you don't want a size, right? So uh, he was nice enough though to give me this watch to do a review on. So uh this is definitely something that I wouldn't I wouldn't buy, nothing against it, just not my style. So I'm glad I get to share it with you. So if you're interested in watching this video, please stay tuned. Alright, so pop the top. Bam. Now you know why I would have known it. If you're a real Tummy Big Time fan, you know that I'm not a DC Comic fan at all. Nothing against DC, nothing against you if you are a DC Comics fan. Just, um, I grew up Marvel. And really, when it comes to watches, I don't want either on my watch. That's just me. I don't want my watch to be, um, overly flashy. I mean, I got some diamond watches, which I can't really say aren't overly flashy, but, um, just, I like the simplicity of a basic watch, not going to have, you know, the crazy designs that some of these character watches have. But anyway, let's get into this watch. So the box is super dope. I mean, you can't knock that box. That box is dope. DC got the Invicta limited edition. Super dope box. Here we go. Got his little Invicta uh, cleaning cloth. Nice like pleather uh, interior with the, the pillow as well. All nicely wrapped. This is limited edition 138 of 4000. Model number 34293. The Joker. So this is the Joker watch. Um, we'll unwrap it right now so you can see it better. But uh, this is like a, a Russian diver. Which I've never even seen this model release. I mean, I'm not really looking out for every Invicta that releases. But, you know, I pay attention and I didn't even see this one release. This one's pretty dope, man. Okay. So, I'm going to wrap it back up for him. But, uh, I want you guys to be able to see that dial close up. It's got that same dial layout as the, uh, Venom when it originally came out. Which is very cool. Oh, I thought that was debris, but that's the, um... Plastic over the crystal. I thought it had the debris inside the crystal. But it doesn't. That's that um, protective sticker they put over the crystal. So this is a Russian diver. You got that big canteen here. With a little crown. Protected by this big old giant canteen. This one is not as giant as they normally are. This is a pretty cool design on this uh, Russian diver as well. Because it's a... Uh, one that I've always wanted back in the day and I never got. And uh, now I'm not really after it now. But there was a, there was at least a year or two where I really wanted this design. And it's this um, little design with these plastic pieces over the bezel. Like it's almost holding it down. I think it looks pretty cool. Normally, like if the, the dial's red, they'll put red ones here and the rest of the watch will be black. Um, it's got that same layout as like the Remix does. The remix has like that marble in here on the uh, case sides. Got the Invicta in green right there for the Joker. That's cool. Of course, it's purple and green themes. Got the, the green down the um, uh, center links on the, the top three. All brushed stainless steel. Let's look at the case back. So case bag has that big old DC Comics logo on it. It's got the model number, limited edition. 
Trademarks, Fan Fusion Crystal, Water Resistance 100 meters. I'm trying to get that D, there you go, the DC Comics logo to show. Like I said, limited edition number 138 out of 4,000. <clears throat> Can't really tell if those are screwed down or not. Super cool watch. Congrats to you, Mr. Gomez. It's got like high polish on the uh, very ends of the links, which is cool. And then it's brushed all down the actual bracelet where you can, you know, the face of the bracelet is brushed. But the, the clasp is high polished and the outer links of the uh, bracelet are as well. And then the whole case is brushed, brushed and painted in plastic. But um, super dope at the limited edition at the six. Got the yellow high highlights on all three of the um, wheels there. This is actually a really dope watch. This is like, I, I don't do purple either. Nothing against purple, but I don't wear purple. So purple's off limits for me. I just don't rock anything that would match it either. But uh, super dope. I'll have uh, up close photos and music. And um, if I can get that clasp cover off without completely destroying his plastic so I can put it back on, I'll uh, put it on the wrist and show you guys what it looks like on the wrist. So this bad boy is equipped with the Z60. Um, 52 millimeters. Um, limited edition, like I think I said 10 times already. 20 millimeters thick. That bezel's beefy on this thing. Bezel does not turn. Um, I can't tell. These are just push pull um, or pushers. They're not. They're not screwed down. And the canteen is is uh, obviously protecting the crown, but the crown is just a push pull as well underneath the canteen. Uh, 26 millimeter bracelet. Stamped clasp. No scissor clasp on this one. But uh, overall, it's a dope watch. And once again, the model number is 34293. But anyway, uh, smash the subscribe button. Hit that like button. Drop a comment. Let me know that you're watching. Have a great day. And as always, God bless. If you're shopping for a watch, make sure to check out Georgia Mountain Watches. Link will be in the description.